Houston, are you looking for a way to be creative? Well, I think we're all in luck because we are at Habibi Bazaar. This is a place where you can tuck your own rug. I know, I know. Don't <laughs> let it intimidate you because it's a fun new hobby. And Pamela here, tell us how you even got started, how you created this business and brought it to Houston. Yes, yeah, so basically just like everyone else during COVID, I had lost my position. I was working in neurology research and I lost my position during COVID and just used my free time to learn a craft and it was rug making and then eventually it just turned into teaching workshops and teaching other people how to really access the artistic creative side. Yeah, this is so fun and you come in the studio and it's so bright and it's so colorful and even if tufting isn't your thing, mm -hmm. she's gonna make sure that you leave like with Sorry. your perfect finalized product, right? Yes. What kind of Houstonians are coming through the doors? So we have two different kinds. We have other creatives that paint or um, sew or whatever and then we have people that are just looking for a good time. The artists, they kind of come in, maybe bring their own paintings, their own drawings, and they will put that into a rug, turn whatever drawing they've made into a rug. And then there's other people that come in for date nights where two people can work on one rug together. It's like team building, you okay. get to have fun together. How long does the process take, like start to finish? Depending on the complexity and the size, I would say maybe two to six hours, maybe. And then afterwards, we do all the gluing, shaving, backing, trimming. So that takes another probably five to six hours. Wow. Us. Yes, but the actual process itself for people looking to come in takes roughly two to six hours. Yes. What does your passion for rug making come? I mean, where does that come from? Yeah, so I'm Armenian Lebanese. Okay. And I love rugs, oriental rugs. I, I We put them on our walls, floor, whatever. And I really wanted to do more like neon kind of counterculture uh -huh. rugs that are Middle Eastern. So that's kind of where the passion came from. I really wanted to do something that still embodied my culture culture, but fun and colorful and yeah. bold and crazy. So you want to show me how this stuff's done? Of course. Okay, so we're here at the canvas and Pamela is has the tufting gun. Is that what you call it? Yes, a tufting gun or tufting machine. Okay, the tufting machine was Texas. So I was like, okay, that's yeah. gotta be a gun. <laughs> but um, I, what is it? What is the thing that you tell people? Because this is an advanced piece, so you're yes. guiding me through this. But when someone's starting and they come to the workshop, what are you telling them? What are you making sure like they? You're, what are you reminding them? Yes. Of? So. Most importantly is safety. We go over safety first and foremost, how to prevent injury, because this is still a, a machine, you know, so you still want to be very careful. And then the number one tip when it comes to actually tufting the rug is pressure. You always have to put pressure. It, does, it looks very easy online, but when you're actually tufting, you really want to apply that pressure deep into the canvas. Okay. And that's what gives the rug kind of that solid look, just like this. You just follow it all the way up. Okay, like and when that. you get to a stopping point, it'll stop it. And what people see, so like this is the actually the back of the rug. Yes. You are working with, once this is complete, you'll have the other side to trim up and glue, and that'll yes. be like the finished product. Yes, the rug. yes. That's so cool. We glue this side, and then we shave the other side. Okay, yeah. good to know. All right, give me that thing. Let me see it. You want to try it? Okay. I'm scared, but yeah. Okay, I turned okay. it off. So okay, so it's off right now. Yes. Okay, and I'm gonna in. right. Is this a good spot right here? Yes. So you want to give it a little bit of distance. A little there bit of room. Go. And you want to alternate on for you. You can okay. go ahead and keep that pressure, and you're only gonna pulse the trigger. So okay. Just, so am I holding yep. this? Yep. Yep. Just pulse the trigger. There you go. A natural. I love tufting. This is amazing. <laughs> Oh, too there far. Oh, no, no you're maybe good. not. You're good. You okay, cool. You have a feature in rug tufting. If you <laughs> hear that? You hear that? If HL doesn't work out, I'm tufting rugs. Here. Okay, it's yeah. super cool. But is there a way you can mess up? Could you push too hard and maybe go right through it? Oh, you can definitely mess up, but she is all about safety first. I really told her, I said, my friend Derek would be so good at this because you are, you do have a more crafty side than me. I, I would probably punch a hole through the canvas. I bet you could do it. You still need to come over and learn how to use the sewing machine. I, I will have, show you. We have a You'll lot. We have a lot. But you know what's cool is that Pamela sells her own line of the tufting machine. She designed it. What? And because, because she used to refer, oh, use this company, use this company. Wow. And then she just said, 
I know exactly what this that means. Is so cool. And so she makes her own line. Huh. Um, and yeah, just a business minded individual. And she will teach you everything you need to know. So she doesn't gatekeep. She's like, you want to be a tufter? I'll show you how to do it. Because a lot of people would be like, no, just come to my place and just do it. Come so to it's the cool that she's teaching folks. It's really cool. Okay, Pamela, I'm going to come see you. It looks super, super cool. So in the meantime, if you would like to sign up for a workshop, we have shared a link on the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Yeah.